Hello, everyone. So the crew over at Monroe and Associates uh, tore down a Hummer, GMC Hummer electric vehicle. And there's a video you can watch uh, specifically looking at their Ultium battery pack. Long story short, they're, I don't think they're very impressed with uh, what they found. So let's have a little look at um, a bit of the video and then uh, I'll give my thoughts afterwards. Hi, uh, welcome back to Monroe Live. Uh, I'm Julian Ates. I'm joined by my colleague Antonio Deneno. And today we're going to be going over the Hummer EV battery pack. Uh, we can see that we have the uh, primary housing for the pack laid out uh, on the floor next to us. To start with a high level overview, this pack itself, as dropped from the vehicle, was about 1,278 kilograms. So that's somewhere on the order of uh, you know, over 2,500 pounds. Uh, so this, as far as the battery packs that we've torn down, is extremely uh, heavy. Um, the entire construction is uh, comprised of stamped steel, which Antonio, typically when we tear down a battery pack, we expect to see some level of aluminum in the enclosure, as well as some inclusion of either castings or extrusions. Right, because of electric vehicles, your primary driver is efficiency. So rolling resistance, your um, aerodynamics, all these things are being considered to uh, improve the mileage that you get at the end of a vehicle. So if you can reduce weight, you reduce your rolling resistance, you reduce your drag. Um, I mean, the Hummer is a bit of a barn on wheels, so you're not, they're not worried about aero. But right. they can still take care of the rolling resistance. Then again, this thing also has a massive tire, so they're not maybe concerned about rolling resistance either. Right. Um, but weight, weight can be reduced to help with that a little bit, and they don't seem to be concerned about that much either, because this is a small car right. without wheels. <laughs> yeah, so yeah, this uh, the battery pack alone, it, this, it was... Uh, a chore in of itself to figure out how to remove it from the vehicle. Typically, we work with battery packs that are a fraction of this size and weight. Uh, so that was a challenge in and of itself. So you can see by the title there, um, this is not lean design. Uh, clearly, yeah, not a lot of effort was made to shave weight in general. The the guys at Monroe there who were doing this presentation, they were cautious to be polite about um, what I believe they thought, you know, was pretty poor decisions. They they would make comments like, "Oh, well, that's pretty unique," and uh, things along those lines. Uh, but it seems that uh, this Ultium battery is is not going to be the huge step forward that I think GM needs in battery technology. They mentioned like the cooling plates and and the uh, paste, the thermal paste that uh, helps transfer heat out of the battery there's a lot of excess there and there's a lot of choices that the guys from the road really questioned maybe you know with the hummer they're just like ah who cares like it's going to be a big heavy truck but it's it's wasteful it, you could make a better truck by trying to shave some weight and make it more efficient so it have a longer range you guys can i'll put a link to the whole video below in the description and you can watch the whole thing and see what you guys think but not not too impressive from gm on this uh massive battery from uh, the hummer but it is using their ultium technology which is going to be the basis of their platform for their other vehicles so i don't i don't think it speaks well of of what to expect from GM and, and this Ultium battery platform. So that's it for this one. My name is Evan Bertrand. This is the Evergreen channel. Give the video a like if you liked it. Subscribe by clicking on the wheel in the bottom right. And thanks for watching.